With this video, I'm going to go over the basics of importing files into After Effects. Now, right away, I'm going to say some files are easy to import, like movie files, MOV files, MP4 files, WAV files. Those are all pretty straightforward. It's when it comes to importing graphics, so Photoshop files or Illustrator files, that you can run into issues. And there are always certain settings that you need to know that you have to set. So I'm going to start in Illustrator. I am in the Essentials Classic workspace. And this is important because one thing that I'm going to need for this, uh, let's just say my drawing is all done. But what I need to do is go into my Layers palette. And I need to make sure that my layers are arranged the way I want them. Right now, I have one layer. And um, if I want to animate any of the um, any of the different elements on the bird, they all have to be on separate layers. So if I imported this into After Effects right now, it would come in with um, just as a single layer. And I wouldn't be able to do things like move the wing or make the, the beak move, things like that. The other thing to remember is you don't get a little thumbnail like you do in Illustrator and Photoshop that kind of shows you what is on each individual layer. So when you're in a composition in After Effects, you really need to make sure that you have layer names attached to each layer so that it makes sense. Now, the other thing to remember is that there's a difference between layers and objects in Illustrator. And right here, what I have is I have one layer with a bunch of grouped objects on that layer. And those grouped objects are what make the, um, the drawing of the bird. So step one, I have to start by ungrouping them. And you can do that just by selecting the group. And I did that by just clicking in the layers palette here and then right clicking on on the bird itself and then go ungroup. You can also do that by going selecting everything again, clicking on the group and then going object, ungroup. So two different ways to do it. And now you can see they're no longer in the group, but they are all still on the same layer. And the first thing to do is to decide what you want to animate. You might not necessarily need to have everything on a separate layer. So step one is deciding what you want to do. And in this case, it's a bird. So um, I'm going to say I want to move the wing so it looks like it's flying. And I also want to be able to move the beaks, make it open and close so it looks like the bird is chirping. Uh, here, um, one of the problems I'm going to run into is if I look at the big, it's, um, it's a, a solid kind of single object and I want to be able to go in and make it so that the two halves can move. So I'm going to start by going in and just adding an anchor point to the beak. So I switch to the add anchor point tool under the pen tool, click on the line. And I did that so that I now have a place where I can kind of cut and just um, make sure that those the beak is now going to be two separate halves. So to do that, once I have this that extra anchor point there, go to the scissors tool, click on the first anchor point, click on the second anchor point, and now you can see I have two separate halves. Now I also want to make this um, kind of extend a little bit beyond so that when it overlaps, that's uh, not going to be a problem. So I am also going to go in. I'm just going to move this over here for a moment. I'm going to switch back to the regular pen tool. I am going to click on the last anchor point and just kind of close that down. And then I am going to switch back to the selection tool and do the same thing with this. So switch to the pen tool and just kind of extend that a little bit. And this is not perfect. It's really quite rough, but it doesn't need to be perfect. We're not going to see these, these parts. And then what I'm going to do is kind of just move it into place, 
have it uh, kind of overlap so it looks like it did before. And then what I'm going to do is actually move the body on top so that the, the bottom of that is hidden behind the the uh, the body. Uh, so the next step, and then I just want to make sure it's actually kind of positioned properly. So I'm just going to kind of move it over so that it lines up with the edges. So the next step is to actually go in and create those layers. So click on the create new layer but button. Um, I want one layer for the top beak and one layer for the bottom beak. So layer two is for the top beak. It's going to go in and um, call it top beak. Create another layer. And this again is going to be for the bottom beak. And I'm going to select these two layers whoops, by shift clicking on them and just move them down underneath the, uh, the other layer. So this is the body layer. I'm going to rename it body. And the other thing I want to have separate is the wing right here. So the eye can actually stay with the body. I'm not going to do anything with the eye, but I do want to be able to move the wing around. So I am going to create a new wing layer and move that up. So now I have uh, a wing layer, a body layer, a top beak layer, and a bottom beak layer. I'm going to save this as um, bird underscore AE so that I know it's um, broken out to use in After Effects. And I'm going to click OK. So that is now ready to go. And when I bring up my After Effects file, I don't actually have a, a project created here yet. Um, I'm going to do start by going in and doing Save As. So I want to make sure it is saved in the right folder. It's always important in After Effects to keep everything in one master folder. Otherwise, you run into tons of problems. So I'm going to call this uh, Project Importing. Uh, you could create a separate projects folder, but here, uh, and, and to do that, you would actually just select that, click on New Folder. This is going to be Projects create that and save. So you save as, and you noticed I did that before I imported anything into After Effects. So now that I've got that done, I just need to go in and import my Illustrator file. And again, you can do that in a couple of different places. You can right click in the project window and just go import file. You can do file import and it doesn't really matter. When you're importing graphics, I'm going to recommend you do them one file at a time just to make sure you're doing them properly. And I'm just going to make sure I'm in the default workspace. So I'm going to go Import, File. And first, I am actually going to go in and import the file that I didn't set up for After Effects so you can see what that looks like. So this is the original file, and if you remember, there was just one layer, and they were all the objects were kind of grouped together on that layer. Uh, so that's what I'm going to import to start with. Here, uh, it doesn't matter about the Enable button. Um, all acceptable files is fine. The Import As is what you really want to pay attention to. And you always want to import graphics as Composition Retain Layer Sizes. The retain layer sizes is important. If that's not selected, and say you have part of a, a layer that kind of extends beyond the edges of the artboard, it's going to crop it if you just import as composition. Import as composition retain layer sizes. Make sure that it keeps that extra information. Uh, we also want to create a composition. We don't really have to check that because that's the option we chose. I'm going to click on Open. And here, 
you can see I've got the, the bird and bird layers. So there's only one. So if I open that composition, you can see that number one, it is the size of my Illustrator file. So it's square, it's not sized for video. And here, if we look at the layer, the layer just includes the complete bird. So it's not set up for us to go in and animate easily. So I am going to get rid of this. And what we're going to do is go in and import the file that was prepared properly. So again, I'm going to right click in project, go import file. I am going to go to the bird underscore AE file that I created. And I'm going to import as composition retain layer sizes again. Click on open. And now if I look at this, I'm going to open the composition. You can see that I have one layer for each layer in the Illustrator file. And that is exactly what I want. 